What up guys? This is Monkey Figure Reviews and today we are back with another figures news updates video for you guys. We will be discussing upcoming One Piece Benpresto slash Bandai Spirits figures. Uh, we don't have a lot to talk about today so I believe this video will be rather short. Now the first figure on our list right in front of you it is the DXF Grand Line Man Wano Kuni Volume 11 Monkey D Luffy figure. His height is 16 cm and he will be released this year, July 2021. Now, for the Grand Line Man series, uh, the Wano, Ku Wano Kuni parts, they did the whole Straw Hat crew and I think they did a few side characters like um, Law, Kinemon, I think Okiku, who else? For the flashback, they did Odin, Whitebeard. So I thought like they might have continued to do some of the other characters, like maybe even like Roger first, uh, before jumping into this sort of a new outfit for the Shawhead crew. Because they had quite a number of guys that they could have done, maybe even like uh, Kid, Killer, and uh, maybe even X Drake or whoever else. Uh, but it looks like they are just gonna move on to the new outfit for the Straw Hat crew. I hope, by the way, this is not too spoilerish. I believe for the anime opening, they are already wearing the new outfits. So essentially, this is just their new uh, new style after the flashback when confronting Kaido. And uh, yeah, so they're going to start off with Luffy. They might do the other characters in the future. We don't know. We will have to wait and see. But for this Luffy figure... From what we can see, he's doing his very kind of uh, iconic usual pose, holding his straw hat, and he has those very captain-looking kind of coats on his shoulders, black in color. Rest of his outfit, rather similar to what he has been wearing all this time, just that the color for the pants is different. Uh, it's kind of like a little bit of gold, and for their waistband, their waist sash is light purple purplish. Alright, uh, I do kind of think that the face is a bit off. He looks very cute this year and very kitty here. Yeah, but I think it's just a bit too much. That's what I think. And I will just show you guys different angles of the figure. For uh, Grand Line series, usually the details are not too extreme. So if you're looking for texturing on the figures, it's usually not there. Not uh, just kind of like a normal anime look. But here you can see that the straw hat, quite decent details. You can even see the damage done by Buggy on the hat over there. And this is the other angle. Yeah, I think some of the creases are still pretty well done. But if you're looking for extremely detailed style texturing on the outfit, then you are not going to get it for this series. Uh, as usual, I feel like it is my obligation to share with you, uh, to share this warning with you for my own observation that... Grand Line series figures, the final product's quality is going to be much lower than what you see in the prototype, uh, even for the latest few figures that were announced. So you really have to be very careful and don't expect them to look very close to what you see in front of you, to what you see in the promo images. Uh, unfortunately, the quality drop has been going on for quite a while and it doesn't look like it will improve, at least in the short term. Alright, so something to just for you to consider. Now, this is uh, much more interesting, I believe, for everyone. And this is the One Piece Manhood series. Of course, the man you see in front of you is the Pirate King, Go D. Roger. And once again, I hope this is also not spoilers. I believe the anime opening, they did a recreation of the, of the scene. And basically, in this moment, what happened was, uh, during the flashback, Roger and Whitebeard had sort of a mini clash, which is very, very epic when we first read it on the manga. So Ben Presto decided to make that iconic scene into figures, into a two-figure set, and we're going to get a Roger and Whitebeard clash. And both figures will be released in July 2021 this year. Now, what is very uh, interesting about this figure is the height, because... From all sources, from what I've got, it says that Roger is only going to be 10 cm tall. So I'm looking at my ruler right now, and 10 cm it's crazy small. Like it's just really small, and it almost looks like a gashapon. So I'm not sure how accurate the 10 cm height is. 
I really sincerely hope that it is not that small. I think that at least for Roger, he should be about 15 to 16 cm, very close to the figure Colosseum figures. But if it's 10 cm, then I believe it will be quite disappointing. Alright, but we'll just go into uh, the details on the figure first. So if you look at the face, I think they sort of didn't really did the details for the eyes. So it just kind of, you know, uh, shadows, kind of him just looking down. But other than that, you can see that uh, the style that they've done it here, it has a little bit of a manga style attached to it because you see all those lines that you always see in mangas too. To show, to show shadows, to show gradients. So they added parts of it, like the sleeves, the shirts, even the sword. <laughs> Looks like we have a lot of those lines. Right, and I think the rest you can see for yourself. The muscles look pretty well defined here, the pants. And he's on this very cool looking base that shows that the earth is breaking apart from their haki clash. And uh, the coat is flying towards back, towards the back, because of the force from the from the from the clash. This is the other angle. I think it's more clear here. The flow of the coat, and you can see more of the details, the creases, and the way they added the lines. I do feel that it's kind of too exaggerated for some parts, like the sword. They didn't really have to add so many of those. Uh, all these lines here it can look a bit weird and the lines also seems very big when compared to the size of the figure which makes me believe that indeed this figure may be about 10 cm <laughs> that's my uh, that's how I imagine it to be okay and they have a, a version B, so this is version A, this is version B. Basically, you get like a, sort of like a monotone, it looks like a green kind of color. I'm not sure if this is for people who like to apply their own paints or not, but uh, definitely they created this version for those of you who might be interested. And secondly, this is Edward Newgate or Whitebeard, so this is uh, him coming downwards with his weapon. Similar style as we can see. The eyes are not done in detail. But uh, the rest of the style on the figure is very close to Roger. So he's kind of leaping in mid-air. You can see his, his hair is flowing nicely. You can see that his hair is flowing nicely towards the back. And of course you have the coats also. And at the same time he's also... Uh, Supported by this very badass looking base. I really like the way they've done a base. It looks very cool This is uh, the version B. We don't have more angles of uh, version A unfortunately So you just gotta look at this picture to have an idea what we are going to get Same for the weapon. I think the lines are all very similar And this is how they look like when put together Like I said, I feel that the base is just done so well it acts as the support and at the same time it just shows the magnitude of their you know of their of their haki or their weapons coming together. So if Roger is gonna be about 10 cm, I believe Whitebeard should be around 20, maybe 19 to 20. They didn't give the height for Whitebeard. I'm not sure why. But from this image I believe he's about twice the height of Roger. Like I said, I feel that they should be bigger, so maybe Roger should be about 15 cm, then maybe Whitebeard should be about 23, 24, I think that's more appropriate. So if you think that size could be an issue, maybe you want to go for the Ichiban Kuji version of these two guys. I feel that that's, uh, that's pretty good as well, it's something that I'm looking at to get myself. Alright, so yep, this is the version B, how they look like when put together too. Very, very cool. I think if you don't mind the size just to have this, uh, this kind of iconic moment on your shelf as display as figures will be very good as well. Alright, uh, lastly, we're going to talk about Sweet Style Pirates. This time we are going to Rebecca. And as usual, we're going to have uh, version A and version B. The height for this figure is 23cm and... It's going to be released in July 2021 this year. 
So this time around, she's cosplaying as Toy Soldier, which is uh, actually her dad, Kairos, uh, when she, he got turned into the soldier. I do think that Rebecca doesn't look like Rebecca here. Her face looks very weird. Uh, and other than that, the uh, details, you can't really say much. The outfit, the top is very clean. You can see a little bit of details on the gloves and maybe some on the on the boots and the hair. So we can look at more angles. But yeah, generally the style is very smooth, very clean. And you can see that the hair is coming up here. This is the back. I would think that she will have to be supported by a stand. You, here you can see that the top is quite short, so it shows a bit of her of her features of a butt this is the other angle yeah for me usually I'm not a sweet star pirates fan so usually I don't buy them but if you like Rebecca you might want to go for this and this is the version B and usually for version B you're just getting the colors lighter on the figure when compared to this so the rest of it is pretty much the same throughout you can just see for yourself all right so that's all we have for this session these are the figures that I have not gone through maybe we will get some more news coming up uh, this couple of days or maybe the start of March we will have to wait and see let me know what you guys think in the comments section below for this figures once again if you're new here you like my videos don't forget to subscribe and also hit the bell notification button so you don't miss out on new videos like this thank you guys for spending your time with me i appreciate it a lot i'll see you very soon goodbye